Hey there, my name is Cesar, and in this video I'll be showing you how to set up and use Smart Dialer with REA Sift. It is important to note that you will be able to send records from REA Sift to Smart Dialer directly through the integration, so these will only be CRM based campaigns. There are no additional integration steps for Smart Dialer in your REA Sift account. Once you install Smartphone, you'll have access to send records to Smart Dialer if you have a Smart Dialer subscription and are on a professional or business plan with REA Sift. If you are a new Smart Dialer user, you will want to go to Setup and assign the empty seats. Ok, so to send records to Smart Dialer, you will have to navigate to the Records page and filter for the records that you want to send. For this example, I'll be sending my record here. When you are ready to send the records, select them and click on Send To and hit Integrations. Then select Smart Dialer and the uh, options you see under the phone type, phone status and phone tags will affect which numbers are sent to the campaign. Select or deselect the options that you want to send. For this example, I will uh, choose all phone number types, but only include the correct status ones. And no tags. Ok, so next I have to add the campaign name. Select the caller ID, so these will be the phone numbers that will be used to dial out. You can add one or more phone numbers. Then you will need to select a voicemail drop and a callback message. Hit next step. The system will apply some tags so you can just remove these or um, let them the way they are or assign custom tags and then you can hit review and send contacts. Right now a new campaign will automatically be added into your Smart Dialer uh, account and you can click on it and let's see the settings. The settings can be accessed by clicking this button right here and we have a few tabs so under the Call Engine tab we can rename the campaign, we can add or remove the caller IDs, select the number of lines, the ring time and the phone number depth. Under the media section, we can uh, select a voicemail, a callback drop and the whole music and enable or disable the call recording. And of course, for the status filter, um, selecting one of the skip statuses will ensure that the lead will not be called again uh, on this campaign. And for the wrong number filters, any call status set to wrong number will ensure that the specific number will not be called again in this campaign. Next we have the call script tab, so you can assign uh, or create one or more templates here. You can even add dynamic fields, so these will be uh, replaced with information from your CRM. And then of course you can assign the permissions and decide um, which user should be able to see and run this campaign. Make sure to save your settings and let's go back to the campaign. As you can see, it says that I have five imported leads, so that translates in REA Sift as five phone numbers that are marked with the correct status. So, in order to run this campaign, we click on New Call Session, and when you're ready to dial, we just hit the Start button. Okay, so I have four lines, it already started dialing on the first one. While it's dialing, I can uh, leave my call notes, of course, I can send a text message, drop the voicemail, transfer the call, put it on hold, or just hang up. Hang up. And also at the bottom, I have the uh, view lead in REA Sift, the view call in REA Sift, and the communication history to quickly check the communication log for this number. Once I'm done uh, talking with this lead and finished uh, setting up, uh, saving my call notes, you're going to hit on finalize call 
and you will have to select one of the call statuses here. Please note that these call statuses are uh, default ones and cannot be changed at the moment. And uh, these can be uh, two types, phone number and property statuses. I'm going to dive more uh, deep into that on uh, my next video. For now, I'm just going to hit not interested on this. And once I'm ready to start dialing again, I'm just going to hit the green button start calling. Okay, it's also important to note that uh, the call notes and the call itself will be logged under the activity log and also um, the, prop the uh, call notes will show under the properties. Under the message board tab. And of course, you can check the activity log with more information about the status changes and everything. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed my video. See you next time.